Hello. Hi, everyone. Good morning. As part of the today's lecture, we are going to discuss how exactly we can use this accessibility inspector in order to identify an object locators and how exactly we can create a program. So for which what I'm doing right now means let me create a new function here. Function test example three. Maybe this is my third example. That's the reason I have a given this name. And in the Xcode, if you go to the options, where in which you can find or open the developer tools and you have an accessibility inspector, just pick this accessibility inspector. This is how the accessibility inspector will display. And here it will prompt you an option. You just need to select it. Whether you want to use this accessibility ID on a Mac machine or you want to use it on a simulator. In my current requirement, I want to capture the properties related to the simulator. Hence, I'm choosing this simulator from this option. And then let me open up the simulator and navigate to the desired screen. So this is what the desired screen is. So choose this button. Okay, choose this button. Let me highlight this button, whatever we have in an accessibility inspector. So choose this button here. Choose it. Okay, and go to the object whatever the desired object is there go there and simply perform a mouse over operation or if at all you want you can do a click operation too i'm just using a mouse over or a click operation there whenever i performed a click operation on that particular mobile instance if you observe this the inspector screen got loaded it has a static text and that text is an alert the view this is what the locator it got prompted so what i am doing right now means First of all, let me go to my program here. Let app is equal to XUI application, the app instance I'm storing right now. And again, app dot launch. After launching the app, I need to click on this static text. What is this? Alert the view. Copy the text from that accessibility inspector and come back to the program. Okay, so why are we getting this issue? Maybe I have a defined it in a different place yeah i need to write the program inside the new function right so i was writing down in another function that's the reason it got a thrown some error messages okay now i'm copying this text so apps dot static text right so that's what the static text says and the static text that we have is an alert to view and you are using a tap operation on that a static text that's it you are just using a tap operation on this static text. And after performing a tap operation on this alert the view, I need to click on a simple, right? That's what the scenario we did earlier. I just want to replicate the same scenario. So choose it, choose the desired object. And here the static text, this one and the text out on which is a simple. So again, let me copy the simple text from there, first of all. and Go to your source code. App dot. I want to go with this a static text. So that particular static text that I want to use is okay. The static text that I want to use is a simple. And again, I want to perform a tap operation on this simple as well. Perfect. So once after you perform the tap operation on a simple, this is how the pop up it's going to display the alert. Now choose it. Click on the OK button. See here, the OK, it is displaying as a button and the label is a OK. So come back to your code base and here, app dot buttons off OK. And again, you want to perform a tap operation on it too. That's it. I have created this now. That's it. So I just killed my inspector session, accessibility inspector. I just killed it. And even I'm just quitting the app on my mobile instance. It's done. Now let me try to execute this function and see how it is executing on the device, whether it is working or not. So at the end, sleep. I'm adding a sleep command of a four second and then app dot terminate. I want to terminate it too. Let me run the script and see whether it is working or not. So it should launch the app. It should click on an alert view, simple, OK, and it will wait for four seconds and then it should terminate that particular app. That's it. So this is the way 
how exactly we can use an accessibility inspector in order to identify the object and of course how exactly we are gonna write down the program perfect done the deal see you again in the next session thank you